Hey, it's Ark Elwix, and I just wanted to show you a quick demonstration as to how to create and manipulate an outline in OneNote. So we're going to start on this blank page, and we're going to add several items that I can use as part of my outline. Okay, you can see here that I've got a list of 10 items, and there's several things that I want to be able to do to this list. Now, this doesn't have to be just a list. It could be paragraphs. It could be the content of an article I'm writing, whatever it needs to be. Things that we want to take a look at. One is the drag handle. What I just clicked on to give that extra content to, to show you the structure of the things that we're going to talk about is a component called the drag handle. And the drag handle shows up next to any of these items. That handle allows me to do a couple of things. You'll notice my mouse cursor changes to the four directional arrow. That means any of these items I can drag up and down in the list just by clicking and holding. But just like Willy Wonka's elevator, I can also take an item and move it left and right, creating the indent that's indicative of an outline. Now, it's a very simple process of being able to go through and indent items in. I may decide I want to go in multiple levels. Click and drag makes it a really quick process. Maybe I don't want to use the mouse, though. I'm a much faster typer, for example. Well, I can always use keyboard commands. At the beginning of any line, if I use the tab key, I can indent. Shift tab will outdent. If I'm in a line, anywhere in a line, shift alt arrow, in this case, right arrow will indent. Shift alt left arrow will outdent. Why won't tab work there? Because tab changes functionality as soon as you get into the middle of a line or into the line itself, because it wants to create a table. We don't need a table right now. Therefore, we're going to take that back out but I can easily use the keyboard. If I'm a mouse person and I just don't recall where the function is, it's also up here in the ribbon bar. You have the ability to increase the indent position and decrease the indent position from a mouse click in the ribbon bar itself. All the functionality works the same. Pretty nice. Numbering, that couple ways to do it. Now, right now I have a list structure that's already there. So I can highlight all of these items, go up here and click on the number structure and bingo, I get my numbers. And the thing that's nice about the numbering system within OneNote is if I use the drag handle and I rearrange these items, the numbering system dynamically resets itself so that I don't have to worry about things getting out of sequence. If I'm creating new things, let's say I'm creating a new list. I don't have to wait until after the fact to do my numbering. I can always start with an item and say, and it will automatically start to number for me. Uh, one of the other nice features that I like about this is sometimes I get started in the middle of a list and then I'll have a large piece of information, maybe an image that I drop in and I want to carry further down the list, but I want to carry on with my numbers. You'll see if I start mid in the midway through the numbering sequence, it will pick up from there. Again, these are features you may be familiar with from say Word or Google Docs, uh, but they carry over in OneNote in a very fluid mechanism. Now, again, being able to reorganize items, this drag handle to me is the best way to handle it. Go through and drop items into places, but this also sets the stage for us to be able to do something very interesting. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this outline away and I'm going to create an outline to help us manage tasks through a series of stage gates in a project. You can see now that I have several gates here, new tasks in progress, under review, approved, published, completed. These are all very helpful. I can then at any point say task one, and task one, I'm going to use the drag handle and put it under. And notice what it did there. It immediately drug it from one box into another, and it allowed me to drop it into the outline structure. Now, as this task moves through its life cycle, I can then say task one is in progress. Task one is under review. And this gives us some interesting capabilities. If I combine this with the tab function, I can say task two tab do let's say 12 24 2023 now you're going to go okay but that's not a single thing 
but it actually is because it only has one drag handle. So now I can say this is in progress, under review, in this structure. It makes it easy for me to use this drag and drop capability to move things around. Now you'll notice that it is stuck out here on the outside. I can indent this in this way. This is where it's helpful to use the keyboard selection at times. So let's say task three, and we're going to say it's due 12, 15, 2023. We highlight this whole item again. We're going to put it in progress. And by highlighting the whole thing, control or shift, alt, right arrow, I can indent that task in. Now, this is where, again, it gets so powerful because I can collapse everything that's in progress and only focus on my new tasks or only those focus on those tasks that are under review. Now let's create a task that has more information than we can keep track of inside the outline itself. It's got all kinds of details. So instead of it being just a line, we want it to be more than that. So we're going to start with a blank area here. And we're going to say new task. And we're going to end with a double bracket. By starting with a double square bracket and ending with a double square bracket, if you have that feature turned on in your OneNote desktop, it will automatically generate a new page in your section that is named whatever you put inside the square brackets. I can now put in a tab and say, do 12, 23, 2023. Not only do I have the information that the other tasks have, and I can move this around the same way. I can add it to the table under my new tasks. But now if I click on new task, it takes me to that page. In this manner, I can have very large comprehensive pages. I can use templates in OneNote. I can put images in. I can put video links in. All of that information can go into that page that's going to track that particular task. And then I can use the outline structure to move the task through its life cycle. So outlining is one of those powerful, powerful functions that is innate to OneNote that the more you get comfortable with it, the more creative with it you can be.